I'm Tom Coleman, the President and CEO of Coleman Worldwide, and I'm coming to you today from the uh, Blue Isle Carpets of the USA Pavilion at the Paris Air Show. We have 302 American companies, primarily SMEs, here at, in the USA Pavilion. 18 state pavilions are part of the larger group, and for the last two and a half days, you cannot walk down the aisles without saying, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, because the aisles have been so busy. All the way until 5, 5.30 at night, where companies are, are conducting hospitality events. Uh, there's a lot of goodwill. There are many people who have not been back in Paris for the last four years. And so the excitement is, uh, is really, really uplifting. There's business being done. There's uh, new products coming out. Uh, I think we have uh, uh, 67 companies who have never been in Europe before. This is their first debut into the European market. So uh, it's been a really dynamic event in the last uh, two days. And, and for this coming weekend, we're planning even more activities to engage the next generation of, uh, of industry leaders as we put together a, an interactive program for families, students, uh, and uh, people of all ages to get them excited about the aerospace industry. And you know, friends, this is Sangeeta Saxena from Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Paris Air Show. This is day three. And you know, as you already know, we are with Tom Coleman, the man who's responsible for getting the complete U.S. participation pavilion here. And Tom, wonderful to have you on ADU's chat room. Now, let us just try and understand, how has it been for you? with all these programs happening, with all these events, how has it been? Has it been, has U.S. been a very major focus of attention? Well, first of all, the U.S. is the largest international group at the show. I think the U.S. Pavilion ranks number two after Airbus. I believe they still might be bigger than me, uh, but we are absolutely the largest international group here. I think that um, we made a very uh, concerted effort in advance of the show to promote the fact that these companies were coming. We created an online database and an online platform called SourceHere.com in order to uh, engage the industry and uh, make them alert. Uh, the global industry aware of the Americans coming here uh, to the Paris Air Show. The organizers, uh, well this is our 28th year, my 28th year organizing this pavilion here uh, so we know where all the bodies are buried and in fact we buried some of them ourselves and uh, they are very very attentive to us. Um, Listen, to be very honest, uh, the traffic in Paris is particularly challenging this year. Uh, the Olympics are coming, there's a lot of construction getting ready for the Olympics and so that impacted some of the roadways. Uh, so we had to get used to on day one some of the different, the new traffic patterns. Uh, but as is always the case in the trade show business, people soldier on, they do what they have to do to get here, uh, to make uh, friends and to meet people and to hand out their business cards and explain their products. So um, we have had a really, really positive reception. Um, I will also say this year, in, in light of what's happening in Ukraine, there is a spirit of a camaraderie of companies that uh, want to come together uh, motivated to do the right thing and to uh, uh, join forces in terms of technology, uh, joint venture partnerships in order to, to face what is the real, a real world threat happening only uh, several hundred kilometers from here to the east. And what about the companies you've got here? What, how have they spoken about the footfall they've seen for the last three days? Well, that's a great question. We've had uh, companies come up to us anecdotally talking about uh, Two minutes ago, I had a, a, a German company who was trying to connect with an American company. He found two of them here, and he came back to me 20 minutes after I made the introduction, and he said, I am confident I'm going to be doing business with this guy. Thank you for the connection. So, oh no, our company has been extremely, I, I, in the 14 times I've organized this show, I have never seen this level of enthusiasm on day three. So, uh, it, it took us four years, uh, of course, because we, we had to skip. Uh, 2021 but uh, boy oh boy we're making up for that lost time absolutely and uh, what does it leave for everybody else who's not a part of the pavilion I saw a few of them who were not a part of the pavilion 
Well, so listen, Coleman Worldwide offers a, uh, a, a series, a package of, of uh, amenities, services that we provide. And as obvious, uh, services and amenities uh, require, uh, uh, have a cost. And not every company uh, does work inside the pavilion. We have about uh, 85 or 80 percent of the American companies at the show do work with us. The large OEMs, Boeing, Lockheed, Raytheon, uh, they work, they have their own buildings and their own exhibits out on the chalet line, uh, yet they support us with the sponsorship of some of our programs. So I would say that, that uh, uh, it, it, it's the know-how of putting together events that become well publicized, that brings the greatest value uh, to, to um, the U.S. Pavilion. But I want to say this, 60 years ago, and this is our 60th anniversary, 60 years ago my dad started our company and I have a saying on the wall behind me that says, it all started with a cup of coffee. And my dad came to an exhibit uh, like this in Munich, Germany and set up an area to help American companies and the first thing he would do was give out cups of coffee. And everybody loves a cup of coffee. So 60 years later, we're now a, uh, a uh, multinational, multi-million dollar corporation around the world. Still family run, uh, but uh, we love the, I love the position we're in. I love the trust and confidence that we have uh, from the U.S. industry. And I love watching people come together because it's not just about making Americans stronger or helping Americans do business. It's about making everybody do business. I hope that company from Connecticut sells a million dollars worth of products to another person in Europe who sells it for 1.2 million, who sells it for 1.4 million. Everybody makes money. Everybody has money to put uh, food on their table, to send their kids to school, and commerce makes the world a better place. That's why I get excited about my job. That's what I come to work to, to support every day. Absolutely wonderful. It's one of the greatest jobs, I'm sure, and let me tell you, you have a great team and uh, we've been interacting with them it's a wonderful team and i'm sure that you know it's marching and marching and marching ahead in that typical military language i'm an army wife you are also a soldier mm -hmm. so you have been one yeah. so i think you know the most important thing we face here is the fact that the team leader is nothing without a team and I, you have a great no, so I think looking I forward blessed. to you know all the companies which you've got here I'm really hoping that they give this wonderful feedback that getting here under the umbrella of Coleman Worldwide they've really done good business Great. Thank, thank you, you so much. much Tom for being a part of the art uh, chat room